In Lexington, North Carolina, there's tension in the air. Hi, it's me. I'm, I'm coming home. 39-year-old Irishman Jason Corbett realizes his new American wife isn't all she seems. Molly's uprooted his family and now wants custody of his children. Uh, no, not Molly, just me and the kids. I think he had had enough of Molly and her antics and just the constant up and downs. He was going to take the kids to go back to Ireland. All right, bye. Watch out, too. Hmm? Not much. Clearly, she had no right to the children at all. But she was grandiose, and she had a plan. Shortly after Molly discovers Jason's secret plan, they receive a surprise visit from her parents. Hi. Yeah. Molly, do you know your parents were coming? Are they here? Thomas Martins and his wife arrived in Lexington, North Carolina. This was an unscheduled visit. Are you ready? Yeah. Time for me to hit the sack, I think. On August 1st, 2015, after a pleasant family dinner, it's bedtime. Gonna finish up here, too, and go to bed. OK, have fun. Molly stays up. She has a job to do. And I think that she saw her major opportunity leaving her, and then she went to extreme, extreme measures to try to stop that. <laughs> Jason meant nothing to her. The kids were her world. <laughs> He's shocked, he's stunned, he's hurt, and he knows that he's being attacked. And then he tries to get away. <laughs> this murder becomes a family affair. We really don't know how many times Jason was hit with the bat or the brick although we know at least 12 and possibly more, and that was just the head. Eventually, perhaps 15 or 20 minutes later, he finally stopped breathing and died. We need to call 911. Her father takes charge. He is a former FBI agent. He knows how to deal with the law. Yeah, intervene, dumb. Yeah, he's in bad shape. We need help. A young man, dead, beaten to a pulp about the head and face. And you folks OK? And two adults, a man and a woman, in the bedroom saying it was self-defense. Molly's father, Thomas, said he hears the thumping upstairs and comes running up. What time was that exactly? and sees Molly being strangled by her husband, Jason. He said at that point, he attacked him with the baseball bat, and the rest is history. I'm so lucky my father was here. But the crime scene tells a different story. Father and daughter don't look like they've been in a fight. No injuries, no bruises, no scrapes, no abrasions were found to either of the two individuals. He was trying to strangle my daughter, so I had to... I understand, yeah. Nothing about this murder was self-defense or spur of the moment. He tried to strangle me out of nowhere. Forensic evidence shows Jason's position when struck. Blood spatter on Molly and on her father was such that they had stood over Jason and beat him. The blood spray went up. It even went up onto the inside of her father's shorts, on the inside lower hem. 
That could only happen if he was straddling the body, beating down on it. Yeah, he was strangling my daughter, so I uh, uh, hit him with a bat. And there's something else. There was no way that Molly could have lifted up on Jason's neck. I can't find a pulse. Uh, his airway's clear. One, two, three, four. And pushed his head back in order to clear the airway without getting her hands covered with blood, hair, or tissue. Molly's hands were pristine. In 2017, Molly Corbett is convicted of second degree murder and sentenced to 20 to 25 years in prison. Her father, Thomas Martens, is convicted of the same charge and will also serve 20 to 25 years. This crime was perpetrated by two people, and there are two different motivating factors. Molly was going to do anything she could to try to make them stay because they were the key to her happiness. For Thomas, I think it was revenge and rage. You hurt my little girl, and I'm going to kill you. Two different people, two different motivations, but the result is the same. Somebody's dead in the bedroom, and the killers are in prison.